hopefully. Um, anyway, starting yeah. out, tell us tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do at Rockert um, and how did you come to be responsible for the Magma Mini? So I'm senior product manager here at Rockcut Studios in Hamburg for Turtle Beach Europe. So my job is kind of complex, but also really cool. Um, so the product manager basically is a mix of things like starting from market research, then have ideas, looking for feature and coordinate many people together. But the main point is to bring these things to market. So have an idea of a product and then bring it to become true and to sales. So it's a complex process that involves design, uh, engineering, uh, uh, supply chain and so on, but it's really rewarding. Uh, I started here in Rockcat one year and a half ago and Magma Mini was one of my first projects that I took over when I joined the the team and is one of those that give me a lot of happiness. So how long has the Magma Mini been in development? How long does it take from a, an idea to a keyboard being reality? It depends from the complexity. Like for Magma Mini, it was one of our faster projects simply because like we try to experiment new way in terms of the development and at the same time is a spin-off of an existing product so it's like there is already a magma full size because otherwise there is a lot of time into the designing of, of a completely new line or a completely new uh, set of keyboard or features uh, roughly it could take 18 to 12 months to make a new product, but depend of complexity because I even a very, very complex can take even more than that. So that's the challenge sometimes is like you have a clear idea of what you want and then like it passed like one year and then something happened in the market and you have to catch up with that. So yeah, you don't get bored about it. I can imagine it sounds like a very cool thing to be doing and you get to work together with a lot of interesting people. And game a lot. And That's game nice. a lot. <laughs> of course, you have to test everything. Right. Right. Let's get into the questions. Uh, people can sure. continue asking questions on Discord. Just go into the Magma Mini Text channel and post any questions we haven't answered. Um, let's start with a couple of just easy uh, setup questions. Uh, does is the cord on the uh, Magma Mini detachable? I haven't actually seen it, so I can't answer no. this. It is not. It's not detachable, no. And especially at this price range, it's really hard to accommodate that feature. Um, does it make it technically more difficult if if you have to detachable? Uh, yes, technically yes, because like uh, outside, like the cost is like uh, there are all a lot of set of uh, a test that you have to do, and then like of course the components increase. So yeah, it's a feature that has a cost, but I can assure you that it's really sturdy and is not a point that is gonna damage. Anyway, you have two years warranty, which <laughs> other do. manufacturer don't give you. So that is quite true. But I'm positive it's not going to happen, that in three years it's going to fail. <laughs> um, people have been asking about console. Um, can you use the uh, Magma Mini with the console? And if so, which console? That's a tricky question. So theoretically, uh, all the main console like uh, Nintendo Switch or Xbox or PS, PlayStation, they have a, a HID um, compatibility so therefore every keyboard will work the problem is that you need a game that is optimized for keyboard so technically yes magma mini will work for the console but you need to make sure that the game you're playing with has the support of it so you need to check that on that one i don't have a full list unfortunately but theoretically it will work Excellent. Um, Tora would like to know what is the um, life 
length of the case? How many keystrokes is it designed to survive? So our membranical has a lifespan of 20 million keystrokes. I can assure you is a lot. It's hard to imagine how right? at normal use, what, what would you say, how, how long that roughly is? I, it depends from how long you use it, because like I, I cannot tell you exactly in time, but I'm quite sure that is more than a 10 years of life stroke. Excellent. It's, much, it's more than that. Like, it depends how much you type, but like 20 million is a lot. It is, absolutely. Um, leading on and staying on uh, keys, what are the specs of the keys? It's membranical, therefore it's slightly different from our usual switches, but what can you say about this, um, the switches and the keys? So, membranical is, uh, like, first was developed for Horde in uh, the Rockcat history of products, and basically the characteristic of that is that it's made in a way that you have a tactile feedback, and the way that is made also as a closer actuation point compared to a normal membrane. And so just to give you some number, like the force is similar to what you will feel for a um, brown switch, which is like 55 gram force, roughly. Uh, but uh, of course, like the feeling is slightly different because it's still like based on a membrane. Uh, but in terms of speed, we are talking about 7.8 milliseconds. Uh, compared to a normal membrane that is usually nine milliseconds of reaction time. But I can assure you, like, I, I will challenge everybody to be faster than nine millisecond typing. <laughs> but it's like, it's already really fast. Um, the total travel distance of the key is 3.5 millimeter and the actuation point is two millimeter. Right. Um, what kind of keycaps does it actually have? Is it the standard uh, rocket half one or is it a fuller keycap? Fuller keycap and is uh, an ABS uh, is not same as Vulcan because like Vulcan are based on MX stem, which is more for mecha for mechanical switches. Right, so it probably won't work with aftermarket keycaps. No, it's not supported in that case. Like all most of membrane, I would say all of membrane. Fair. Um, people would like to know what it sounds like. Can we get a little sound test? Uh, I would actually suggest to watch our video. I think like there was a really good video of the comparison of uh, Volcan Mini and Magma Mini. And I don't know if I'm set up correctly to do that. Like, I mean, I can try, but <laughs> the microphone I have is not really like, I don't think you can. If you can hear something. No, it is a little bit too quiet. Yeah. But yes, there is a very good comparison video. It's really video. quiet, though. Um, it, it is, is really extremely quiet. quiet. That is also uh, the question has come up whether it is quiet enough to uh, hide hide from your parents when they are sleeping and you are still up gaming. And we can assure you, yes, it is quiet enough that no one will be disturbed by your typing. I mean, uh, unless you pound on the keyboard, but then I can help on that. Speaking of pounding on the keyboard, um, how robust is it? Like, does it survive a rage? <laughs> it, if you see also for on the flexing, it's it's really sturdy. Like the the pla is plastic, but like the frame, it's it's really thick. So it's like the build quality is good. It is like chunky. all rocket product. Yeah. Yes, the build quality is quite solid. Um, if people have a look in the uh, Discord live chat, the video, the comparison sound video and the typing videos have been uh, posted up there by our lovely moderators. So if you want to give it a listen later and convince yourself, um, you are more than welcome to. Um, Clankars, and you have already touched upon that, that the Magma Mini claims to be faster than a lot of uh, membrane keyboards. How how does that work? Why why is it faster? How can it be? It's exactly like as I say for the membrane. Like basically the construction. Like there is a membrane. That's why I call it membrane mm. uh, between the key and the the board. Like the the printed sheet. Uh, so it's like 
our patented membrane like as an actuation that is longer and like as is as, as designed in a way like that give you this tactile feeling but also is like touch faster the input and therefore it would be faster than a normal membrane like it's, it's designed more for gaming it's not like uh like a other keyboard like a productivity keyboard and so on yes um we, you have already talked about the response time. Um, people, the Yaha asked, what's the difference between the original Magma and the Magma Mini, except for obviously the size? This size. So I will skip also about like the function feature because like that's is related to the size. Mm -hmm. But first of all, you have this lovely cable here, which is on the left mounted rather than be central. Then it's really bright like it's brighter than the magma full size like we kept the same uh, property of the magma but like being more compact you have much more brightness and joy and colors in here it's much more vivid like in the video it doesn't give it justice honestly because like my camera might change the brightness but it's like in the real life it looks really saturated it's 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 really nice uh, the other big difference that you have is about the um, IP33. So basically, IP33 is a uh, rating that tell you like what is the dust proof and the waterproof. So uh, usually other competitors, they claim to be spill proof is IP32. Our is IP33, so it's one step more. Uh, you guys can go check like what does it mean exactly one, two, three, like there is exactly a definition, but like basically the membrane in here was designed in a way that is more resistance to water spill and uh, uh, water dust. Sorry, and dust. And no, dust, dust. which yeah. is important for a lot of gamers, I believe. There is uh, the amount of keyboards that die the death of a spilled drink. Yeah. We still recommend not to spill anything sticky on it because no, then I mean, the keys it, will get stuck. You should not do that and you should not put it in the water, but like it will survive that. Like it, it doesn't mean that you need to submerge it and abuse it, <laughs> but yeah. Very few people will game in the bathtub, but at least now they know that they might be a new trend. Could. Who knows? <laughs> oh my goodness, bathtub gaming. What do you think? is the feature that really makes the Magma Mini stand out from the crowd. It's like the Magma, it's really the plate. The plate is so beautiful. Um, this is the main feature of this line. And like, I think also like, that's why like we call it Magma, but it's like this lighting and brightness in the plate, it's really something different than what you would see in the market. And that's what really make it stand out compared to other keyboard. And I can assure you for the Mini, it's even more uh, brighter and crisp than the Magma full size. So it's like we improve on that way and I'm really happy on how it turned out, actually. Excellent. Um, I absolutely just didn't close my questions document. <laughs> um, wow. This is a very interesting uh, question, I think, um, from Revy. Uh, what is the biggest? What was the biggest challenge in making the magma for you? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So there were many challenges here, but I would say that the biggest one uh, it would be about the UX, the user interface, uh, the UI and UX of the keyboard, uh, simply because like is our first sixty percent. Uh, with a 60% and when you have a lot of feature like easy shift function and other things, you really have to think about how to optimize it. And plus like the mini keyboard is still in the, like is coming in the mainstream and is in the mainstream, but it's still like for many people a uh, uh, steep learning curve because like when you transition from a full size form factor or a TKL to a mini, it's really dramatic. Even a 65% versus 60, it's kind of dramatic. So for us was to optimize the arrow keys and like this kind of natural things that you will do with the keyboard. And actually the best thing that we do, uh, or we did in here was to place the arrow keys 
here at the bottom mm -hmm. because in this case you can press with the pinky DFN and you have direct access to the arrow key like you would use a 65 so it's more natural in that sense compared to other like there is uh, other competitors that they have it in here or in other position around this area which is really unnatural and like also if you are like somebody that type or like use it without looking at the keyboard it's hard to get like a, a, a point of uh, like to orientate myself yourself just tactily uh, so this one was a huge improve and plus following our great beta test uh, we implemented in the firmware um, a new feature, which is basically if you press FN and the uh, left shift, you cr you make this arrow key primary. So it means right. you can use the arrow key without the FN. And that's, I think, it's quite an advantage compared to other 60%. So the short answer is like, try to think or help the people to transition from a big full size or ticket form factor to a mini form factor. Absolutely. I, I noticed that myself when I switched from the Vulcan Pro TKL to the uh, Vulcan 2 Mini for the first time and I kept hitting keys that were nowhere near where I wanted them to be. These days, I have gone big again and have the beautiful Vulcan 2 Max sitting in front of me, which is also quite great work. But let's stay with the small ones this uh, for now. Um, why the Magma? Why was that the next small keyboard? So, as you know, we already have the Vulcan 2 Mini which is the superstar and is optical, is based on performance and like have all what you uh, would expect from a Vulcan or a Vulcan 2 in this case, or so new design and so on. So that is a 65%. Uh, in our mind, like in our portfolio, there was this part of the 60% that was missing. Uh, and therefore, like the next, uh, best idea for us was like to try also uh, on the membrane part simply because also in the competition and like in the market you will find a lot of mechanical 60 percent but uh, as I say it's a big step to transition from a full size or a TKL to a 60 percent so many people would like to try or to be introduced to uh, something is to do it with one product that is well designed by like a 60% and costs uh, $49 versus something that costs maybe 89 and then you realize that the 60% is not for you. So that was the idea behind was like to give it an accessible way to introduction uh, this, this form factor into our line. And we choose 60% also for that reason. We already have like a 65 in the Vulcan 2. And so therefore we wanted to have something uh, more in the compact area for the 60. You already touched on a question there that we have been getting and we have been getting a lot on, on our social as well is why make a membrane keyboard in 2023? <laughs> a lot of people seem to be very convinced that mechanical is the way to go. Well, it's not absolutely true. I mean, while uh, I do get this like mechanical are uh, fascinating, a big chunk of the gaming market right now is going toward mechanical enthusiasts. We are totally aware of that, but there is still a uh, huge segments that is focusing on the membrane. Also because like there is also people, believe me or not, that prefer typing on a membrane rather than a mechanical. But outside that, of course, like the membrane always has other advantage like the cost. As I say, is like of course uh, a membrane keyboard is in general like cheaper than a mechanical keyboard simply because like of the way it's built and is uh, uh, is made. And at the same time, it's also like it's really quiet. It's much more quiet. Like okay, you can invest in uh, uh, silent uh, switches, but I'm still thinking the membrane might be mm, more quiet than that. Yes, I, I think even with the silent switch, you have the kind of thock of the mechanical bottoming out quite 
distinctly. Um, it's it's definitely interesting. I I quite like the way it feels. The or at least the big magma feels. I do need to get my hands on a mini. Um, it just hasn't been. It hasn't made it over here yet, sadly. Um, I have plenty. <laughs> well, where's but mine? But test one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, you said earlier that um, the connection was on the side rather, the cable was on the side rather than in the middle. What's the reason for that? There are two big reasons. Like, first of all, if you think about your setting, uh, usually if you route the cable from the middle, you will basically pass through your desk while like having it on the left side it helps you to route in behind the monitor. And let's go to the next reason behind is like when you game, usually you put your keyboard in this. But I know that there is some weird people that do this, same, <laughs> but like, okay. But like what happened is like when you do this and you have it on the left side, you have much more space for the mice and you don't risk like this is a wireless, is our Connect Pierre, but like in case also of wired mice, you don't risk to entangle and enter in the uh, area of your mice with the cable because like if the cable would be in this area, you might bar. So like in this case, you separate it and you have all your desk surface and you risk less entangle. So it's that's why like we opted for the left side. Excellent. Um, what's I mean, I've I've already asked you about the um, about why the magma is great, but what do you personally like best about it? The color. Um, <laughs> it makes me really happy. Um, I was a little bit uh, skeptical at the beginning, like because like we pass from the ideation to uh, the real thing. So it's like sometimes you have to imagine or you see your nice rendering and so on. But like when when they serve you with the mock-up or like with this first development stage, like sometimes it's not really like what you were expecting. But this one is one of those projects that exceeded the expectation. Like I wasn't expecting it this bright or this colorful. And that's what I really like of this product. It's really colorful and it makes me happy, really. Um, <laughs> people are um, asking whether you can do ASMR with this keyboard, <laughs> but I think the the silence of it is makes it probably not the best for that one. Let's say I don't have the setup for that neither. I will not have a directional <laughs> microphone to give you a nice audio quality of it. I guess I think it's better you check the video that they posted <laughs> yes. in the chat. Though I have to say, the light is definitely mesmerizing. You can just watch it for a long time. Um, I was going to ask you something myself, and it has uh -huh, fallen uh -huh. right out of my brain. Um, I will get back to it. Sure. The um the other thing we are hearing a lot, especially with the um especially on social, is about a mechanical version of the magma design. People are really keen to see that that top plate design on on a mechanical. Why not? It's <laughs> an odd topic and it's something that definitely is under our radar. But uh, let's say that there are a lot of technical issues in doing that. Is like, first of all, is integrated this colorful, like a magma is a magma if there is this nice plate going on, right? So integrated that with mechanical system, it's not easy. And there might be solution, but at the moment they are really expensive solution. So you will result in a keyboard that might be at this point like really expensive. It might be even expensive than a Vulcan in theory. Do something like that. But let's say that we keep it under a radar, but at the moment we are not going that direction simply because of the technical uh, challenges there. But 
I can say that uh, we we thought about it and it's still in our draw. <laughs> well, that's that's good plan. to know. And yeah. the other question we get a lot is about a white one. White setups are really uh, <laughs> really a focus at the moment, and uh, people would love to see a white magma. Are we going to see a white magma in the future? It is not planned that, but also that one I will say is under the radar, but it's not yet in our plan. Simply because like uh, outside the frame also like in general, it's 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 mainly the RGB, the shul star, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Hopefully like the sales are so good and then we will do like a white, a blue, a yellow and a red. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, and RGB to uh, the RGB all to RGB. end all RGBs. Yeah, it certainly. Ah, and I just remembered the other question I wanted to ask sure. you. Now, I am aware that these things are always kept under lock and key by uh, mm -hmm. by the dev and design teams. Mm -hmm. But would it be possible to show the people on the Discord how maybe after this chat or tomorrow or uh, in the next week, how the first mock-ups looked like. So they can see the difference between mm -hmm. a mock-up and the final product. I can answer you later. I need to check if I can still find the mock-up. <laughs> because usually when a product is released, uh, a lot of the previous sample are like, disposed uh, unless they're relevant for other development in the future. So I need to check that. If I can find it, I will definitely let you know. Oh, now there's something to look forward to. I would definitely love to see that. And I know myself, I would get lost in the Dropbox if I started looking for it. <laughs> well, if anybody else has more questions, please go ahead and ask them. You can ask them in the chat and um, Discord and in the dedicated channel. You can ask them in the YouTube chat. Um, and we are happy to answer more. But I did promise people a giveaway. I know. <laughs> a magma many of their very own um, to be won but you have to be in the chat on our Discord channel. Uh, so if you're watching on you, along on YouTube, head over to Discord, get yourself into the channel. I will give you all a little bit of time. <laughs> Sorry, someone is trolling on the Discord. Um, I will give you all a little bit of uh, time to Get yourself in and then you will have a chance to win. Uh, the thing that made me laugh was that uh, the lovely Sasha, who is a member of our support team, <laughs> to be very clear here, and probably still in the office somewhere, just asked whether it supported Swarm. Yes, Swarm. it does. <laughs> yes, of course it does. Swarm for the people who are not as familiar. Um, I am, by the way, talking about Swarm. Yes. With the Magma Mini, we have macros Ooh. in Swarm. And it was a new update. Of course, you have also the profile, but they are virtual. Of course, there is not onboard memory. Mm -hmm. But through Swarm, you can run macros on the Easy Shift area, which has been also that when increased with the space bar. So right now, also the space bar, you can use the Easy Shift. Mm -hmm. And also you can assign macro, which is cool. That is very cool. Uh, do macros work? The, does the main magma, the big magma have macros? So is this something specific to the... It is not, neither pyro. And we will see if we can implement those in a future session. But right now, like magma mini comes with macro. That is very interesting. Uh, another question we got through in the chat is whether we would consider a partial mechanical keyboard, whether it is possible to mix 
to, for example, have a WASD mechanical and membrane for the rest? Mm, is something it might not work to have partial simply because like the construction, like uh, the, the real support between the PCB and the membrane are totally different. So it's something that any guy here <laughs> is 730p. It's even in here, so it's okay. Um, yeah, no, uh, it's something that is technically, uh, it, it would make more sense to have everything mechanical or everything membrane. Like the cost of it will not, uh, because basically you will need two PC board. Mm -hmm. So like it, it, it will be like not reasonable in the construction. Makes sense. Um, right, we have a nice amount of people in the chat and I am going to give you the opportunity to choose our lucky winner. Ha uh ha. -huh. One, two, three. Give me a number between hmm, Um, one and twenty-six. In one and twenty-six, huh? Fifteen. Fifteen. And there we go. Um, the how highly scientific method of I just counted really down scientific. the uh, counted down the number of people uh, appearing in the chat, and uh, we have found a winner now can i pronounce this discord name is the other question i'm probably not going to try um so congratulations to grumpy you have won a uh magma mini nice nickname well anti d something i <laughs> i am I not was going grumpy. <laughs> They are clearly grumpy. Um, I'm sure they are really lovely. And they can be happy about a brand new keyboard. All right. And that, unless we have any additional uh, questions or any shout outs for anybody in uh, the chat, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me welcome. for this little event. And uh, I hope that we can do more of this in the future. Maybe the Magma is a good first one to do this, but I think there are products we will have a lot more to talk about. And I think there are some really exciting things in the Rocket Keyboard pipeline for the future. Yes, they are indeed, but I can't say nothing. Oh, of course but, not. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Thank you. Um, and Available. Yes, I am looking forward to speaking to you soon. And thank you to everybody for watching. <laughs>